Invading their lives. Uh, mom, they're. No. They don't have a sense of normalcy anymore. Mom, we're live. That's Why fine. Else? Do it real quick. It's only two minutes. <laughs> they don't have a sense of normalcy <laughs> anymore. There you are. Their lives have been thrown to the wind. Hi, Laurel, Joanne, Jill, and Jared. Oh, Daddy's on. In true chaotic fashion. Our children's Jersey. lives have been ruined by fame and fortune. Well, at least fame. <laughs> <laughs> Have your guys' lives been no. ruined by- Don't. You just pushed my entire side and like killed me. No. David. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hi, Linda. Don, okay. yum, pumpkin time David, again. Okay. All right. Do I need to go get the paddle? We don't have a paddle, but we should get one. Okay. All right. Well, what do we do? We have a fly on my camera. Do I spot oh, it? Oh, look, the mama gun snap, says Tiffany. Darren noticed right away. <laughs> Darren noticed right away. Noticed <clears throat> the price tag. Oh, 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 oh. So <laughs> this is my mini pearl goes to New York City. <laughs> Start spreading the news. Good eye, Darren. I'm leaving today. Kristen says you need a nerve pill today. I'm gonna be a part of it. Oh, thank you. New York, New York. Come over here, Ellie. You sound awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. You entertain the masses. This boy. is my Macy's. I went crazy in Macy's. Bye. I couldn't believe I went crazy in Macy's. It was a lot. You're gonna see it again on an upcoming video. The videos from the trip are still going because, well, we were shooting more faster than we had days to put them on YouTube because of the live show. So, yeah. You guys wanna see what I did to my cord? Look what I did to my cord. Right there. You know, I've only done that like five or six times and Michael still loves me. Are you sure I was for doing what? Oh, for killing the cord, yes. Killing my cord. Okay. Well, so maybe I'll zap my. Another one here by now. You know, do you think if I held my fingers and poured water on it, it would zap me, and then yes, all my fibromyalgia would go away? Let's try it. Live? Right on the air. Let's try that live. No. <laughs> no. So Brenda is, is little Rhodey, Rhode Island. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're making. What are we making? We are making something. Two ingredient muffins today, and. I am not feeling that spectacular. So, so you're making two ingredient muffins. Yes. We're making two ingredient muffins. This could be an interesting show today. Um, because it is it's literally two ingredients. One, two. Yep, it's September and I am two weeks behind on pumpkin recipes, so I thought we better get started on that today. So. Denise says, Jack, I have that Minions cup too. Oh. <laughs> this is my Halloween Funfetti cake that I got for 30 cents. Can you say woohoo? Woohoo! Ow. After Halloween one year. Wait, how many years ago? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, my Alka Seltzer. Okay, let me do it. Uh oh, Ramona says, sorry, it won't work. Got zapped and still have my fiber. <laughs> I keep telling Mike I should have him buy a, me a taser and taste me every morning and see how it helps my fibromyalgia. Yeah, that would go over well. Yeah, that would go well. I keep feeling like if I would be stung by like 200 bees at once or tased or something that it would help. And I'll tell you why actually though. This actually, I know because, I need to be making the money. Because moments. you're a little different. You're a little special. <laughs> Aren't you feeling good today? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm trying to pull you up. Um, I'll tell you why. Because when I first got fibromyalgia, I got zapped by our oven in Wichita. When we had our old house in Wichita, 
there was something wrong in that house. And every time I would change a light bulb or if I would cook on the stove, I would get electrocuted. I did, seriously. And one time I was cooking on the stove and I got electrocuted. And after I was zapped, I was like, well, man, I'm not hurting anymore. <laughs> so that's why I keep thinking that. Okay. So wait, this is the easy pumpkin muffins recipe, right? Easy pumpkin muffins. Mm -hmm. One cake mix. This is my Halloween Funfetti just because it was cheap. And my one can of pumpkin, just good old pumpkin. So you're making pumpkin Funfetti cupcakes. I am making pumpkin Funfetti cupcakes. See, that just raises it to a whole new standard. It does. Now, <clears throat> I like a spice cake with this, but a chocolate cake works really good. And yes, you can do a gluten-free cake if you want. And this isn't two ingredients. I know, don't yell at me. But on page 305 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 305 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, we have pumpkin pie spice. Now, I don't keep pumpkin pie spice on hand because I just mix it up myself. So that's what I'm doing real quick here. Um, and just gonna throw that in. I know this isn't the three, two ingredient, but you can just make it with the can of pumpkin and a spice cake mix. But I like my um, pumpkin to have pumpkin pie spice in it because, well, it's just not fall if it doesn't. That's just the way it is. So, sorry, Danielle said, reading my new Dining on Dime cookbook, love it. I want to make your potato soup, but don't have bacon. Is diced ham okay as a substitute? Yes, diced ham would be excellent in there. Delicious. Call me over when you're done. I'd like to have some. I haven't had potato soup in probably 20 years. Well, since I wrote the book, actually. What, what, what degree am I supposed to put the oven on? So right. you turn the oven on. Dun, dun. Wait, Click this the is the wrong one. one. Click the top one right here. Click the top one. <laughs> Click here? Yeah. Um, oh, see, now I know how to use the website. 350 degrees for 20 minutes. 350. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, Mike is going to put the link on here. We have, what, 10 pumpkin recipes? A really, really, really good. The one that has the pumpkin pie spice on it, too, right? 16. Pumpkin. 16 pumpkin 16 recipes. 16 pumpkin recipes. All for free. Ooh. And I think our pumpkin bread and dining on a dime is in there. Our pumpkin spice. Our just pumpkin shared muffins. The, just shared the link. And yes, I just made Dave's popcorn. Thank you, so Brenda. So you'll have a snack before dinner, huh? I forgot something. <laughs> okay, so just stir it up until it's all mixed. And it's going to be really, really thick. But that's okay. Can you see? Yeah, they can see. Just get all the stuff in the bottom. Uh, Ramona says don't use a TENS unit. What is that? It's, it's a, basically an electrical zapper thing. I used to have a mouse massager. And I would do that and it would zap me every day. But it didn't quite do the same as getting zapped by the stove. So, okay. So then I'm just spraying my nasty looking muffin tin. Jack, which I need to get a new one of. You can use muffin cups. I just don't have any on hand. Okay. I had the kitchen all cleaned. And now there's butter and everything. Okay. So, can they see? David? We need our cameraman. Here. Sorry. Okay. What? Jack, Dad needs you for just a minute. Well, I didn't want to interrupt in the middle of the recipe, but. Okay, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> Joanne said I'm watching with my eight year old granddaughter, Maddie. Could Jack say hi to her? So come over and say hi to Maddie. Say hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> say it's nice to meet you over the internet. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not really, because I can't see her. Oh, you can't you see, see her? her? <laughs> but it's nice to meet her anyway, isn't it? To have a new friend on the show. Poor Jack, he's kind of shy, believe just, it or not. Just to see if you would want to meet Patty. Oh. <laughs> okay, so then we're throwing these in the muffin things. And this makes 12. 
And if you want, gluten-free cake mix would be perfectly fine for this also. Oh man, oh Ed. Oh, that was close. Okay, so let me feel it just a little bit more. Kimberly's, Kimberly says, who's that guy talking? Is Mike the husband? <laughs> what? I don't get it. She just wants to know if Mike is the husband. Oh, not the uh, guy at the laptop. What? Oh. Oh, that's David. <clears throat> our son David is our tech guy, so he's in the background. Eating his popcorn, drinking out of his donut cup. And Jack is the little guy that was just here. Okay. So, there we go. Evenly distributed. Oh, Nadine said I missed the ingredients. Let me reshare the recipe here, Nadine. So the ingredients list is super hard, Nadine. It's one cake mix and one can of pumpkin. That's it. Super easy. Boom. There it and is. And you can use any cake mix you want. You could use yellow, chocolate, or white. All of them would be really good. So that's it. All right, so I'm gonna let those bake. And while that's happening, I'm gonna make apple butter because that's like a two minute recipe. So you guys like my new owl cup I got in that cute? I got it on the trip too. Nice, that's very cute. All right, any other questions about the pumpkin before I do apple butter? I don't see any, but let me just check. I, Dave, yeah. have you seen any on YouTube in the last couple of minutes? All right, so, oh, I forgot Dave? to put this on Amazon. Um, this is my handy dandy apple core slicer. So I'm making apple butter next to go on my pumpkin muffins, which would be super delish, on page 327 right there. 327, Dining on a Dime Cookbook. 327, Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Mike will put the link in there, because he's just good like that. Now, this I am making a half a batch, because I'm the only one who eats apple butter in my house. What? Which page did you say? 327. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my. Is your OCD having issues? It's not even close to going in the middle. Oh, mom. <laughs> Would you like to come over and Why discuss would you that? Why do that? <laughs> Why oh. would you do that, mom? <laughs> Did I disturb you? I disturbed you with my. But see, look how. I used to eat those and just put sugar on them. They're good, aren't they? Just yeah. eat them like sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. Um, can you? Grab the link from Amazon for me for this. Or, oh. My <clears throat> apple core slicer that I forgot to add. We have a new Amazon store, guys. So for all of you who are wanting to, um, uh, taking the apple core. Right, oh, this. Right there. Uh, yeah. For all of you who are wanting to the items that I use on the show, you yeah. can go to Amazon and we have, it is an affiliate link, so we get a small percentage, but Yay, that sounds great. <laughs> we appreciate it if you do that. It helps us keep the show going. Tracy wants to know what is that? What is apple butter? Apple butter? Ah, uh, I didn't. I didn't know. Nobody knew what apple. Didn't know what apple butter I didn't was. Know what it was till I met you. You didn't? Nope. So it's like a jam or a jelly, but it's like a jam, but it's the whole apple. It's not just. The liquid from the apple. So, like regular apple jelly is just the juice from an apple. Um, uh -oh. Strawberry jelly or jam is when you have the pieces of fruit in it, and a butter is when you use the whole thing. So, there you go. I'm sorry I did not explain that. I did not know. It was not a known thing, but this is super good. You eat it on toast or like I had some pumpkin butter on, on um, raisin bread this morning, which was super delicious too. I'll probably have my apple butter on my cinnamon toast tomorrow. Um, all right. Hmm. So on YouTube, it wouldn't accept it in the comments, but it is in the description below. Okay. So, so there's the link for my apple core if you want. Now, Dave, my brother and I used to eat the Peels. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, I do say so myself. <laughs> but you could dry this if you don't want to eat it and use it for potpourri, which, let's see, I think we have a potpourri recipe in here. Where is it? Mmm. 
Where'd it go? I thought it was right here. Um, where'd my potpourri recipe go? Oh, here. Uh, oh, nope, wrong. Oh, nope, that's the kids' ones. Hold on. Right here. So you could um, dry these, just dry them in the oven at low, and you could use them in um, the Christmas set potpourri on page 368 right there, or the 366, the sweet Christmas potpourri, that one's really good too. Just add the apple to that and it would be a really good smell. Sorry, I don't so, know if you already answered this, but lost control said I've never heard of apple butter either. Is it the same as applesauce? No. Well, similar, but not the same. So apple butter, you cook a lot longer than applesauce. And now, normally I do mine in the crock pot. So I don't know if it's going to turn out very well just doing it on the end of the show. But what you do is you just keep it cooking all day on low and just let it simmer and simmer and simmer. So now a crock pot does a lot better than the stove top because it um, slowly cooks the apples. So I'm just kind of showing you how to put it together because it's so easy. You really don't have to do anything. Take your sugar and like I said, I'm doing a half batch. And then add your spices. Uh, oh, Amy, sorry. There was one about the pumpkin muffins. Mm -hmm. Amy wanted to know if you could use pumpkin pie puree. That is what I used. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that, oh, oh, <clears throat> yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Although, you want to make sure that it doesn't have, where'd my salt thingy go? It was up there. You moved my salt? <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, the green one? The big one? Oh, it's over on the table. Somebody else moved it. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> you blamed me. You admitted you moved my salt. That's because when you weren't here, I thought, I'm going to make this house work oh, for me. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> That's because you cook uh, dinner every day, don't you? You just ruined the sugary yep. deliciousness of that. <laughs> okay, so then just stir it all together. You put salt in here. And then the salt brings out the flavor. You guys, the world needs more salt. People. <laughs> it really does. Everyone has gotten so paranoid about using salt for everything. Really, you need more salt. Um, Ooh, Sharon says apple butter and hot biscuits. Yum. Yes, apple butter and hot biscuits would be super yummy. Now, like I said, I don't know well how well this is going to turn out over the stove. So we're going to give it a try. But, mm, my nose is itching. Um... <laughs> It is that easy. So all you do is let it cook in your crock pot for 9 to 11 hours, uncover it, let it cook for another hour, and then that's it. Going baddies on. Oh. Hello, going baddie. So Kimberly wants to know if those are real flowers. <laughs> yes, these are real flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? Mike did some. You know, I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here for the show just to see if I can get it going quicker. So anyway, all right. See if I can, oops, that's, okay. Yeah, my hands are all messy. Gookie. Are you making fun of your mother-in-law? Yeah, but it was, I like that one actually. Oh. You like the gookie? Yep. Oh no. Guess what I forgot to do? Oh. Uh, Set my timer for the muffins. How long was I supposed to do the muffins? 20 minutes. Uh. Toby said I thought I saw the wording apple butter syrup. Uh, we, it wasn't apple butter syrup. Is there such a thing? I have no idea. Hmm. But if you want, you could add some water to it, I guess, and it would be more syrupy. Okay, so that's the problem with our dining on a dine recipes is they're so quick and simple that it's hard to go for an hour show with you when you do two of them. Oh, Kimberly asked how much salt did you put in there? 
Oh, I need to share that recipe again, don't I? Michael put the recipe on there. Uh, I did not share the apple butter recipe. Here it is. You have failed. I failed. I sure Man, you gotta ones. get back in Jill going. Tech dude. There we go. Okay. So, we've been Boom. having a problem with the kids. Here, switch <clears throat> your buns over for just a minute. With the kids getting wash rags, like five a day. So Mike wrote a note. There will be a $1 charge for laundry for each new dish towel or wash rag. Thanks, the management. <laughs> I signed it, management. <laughs> that was when Tara was gone. <laughs> oh, Heidi says, love you too, and I'm from Alberta, Canada. Yay. Oh, wow. Thank you, Heidi. New game, where did Mike move the salt? <laughs> uh, no, we're not Canadians. We're from Colorado. Um, you, in the United States, yeah. Angelica wants to know, do you plan on returning your apron? You left the tag on it. No, I'm being, Mini Pearl goes to New York today. You'd have to go a long way to return that, wouldn't you? I would. There's no way I'm going so, back to return it. So did Ooh. you see, oh, uh, Nichelle wants, or Nich, I'm not sure how you say your name, Nichelle, yes. uh, wants to know where to get the book. Isn't that Nicole? Oh, and no, I'm sorry. No, it was not. I looked at it. I I'm sharing the link right now to where you can get it. Oops. All right. Um, yeah, I was asking her if she saw Santa Claus while she was at Macy's, but it sounded um, like no. I didn't. Aw. Oh. Nope, I didn't. Okie dokie, let's so, see. So, isn't that sad? Oh, no. You know no, what? Denise, that's not right. My grandma always said if your nose itches, you're going to kiss a fool, but who else would there be besides me here? <laughs> Don't tell Mike. It would hurt his feelings. <laughs> oh, uh, Louise said to do something with the... Where was that? She said steam the apple skins for Buster. Oh, that's a new one. I never heard of that before. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Uh, cool. Wait, wouldn't that make him... It would make issues? him very loose. He wouldn't have a constipation problem. <laughs> we went and picked apples on Friday. We'll be making apple butter. Oh, yum. Yeah, so use the recipe on page 327 in Dining on a Dime because it's super easy. And we also um, make pumpkin muffins. I'm sharing that link right now. Yeah, so we're waiting for the muffins to finish. In the comments. So did you want me to look and see what other things we might have had? Oh, somebody said leaves are starting to turn them into soda. <laughs> so I've been looking for houses in Wisconsin, and would you believe Amy T. from Australia sent me a house today? <gasps> In Australia? She said, I just thought it would be so cool if I found your house for you all the way here in Australia. You know, Amy, it's funny. I'm sure Australia has a lot more than this, but all we've ever seen in movies and stuff here are like deserty looking scenes, right? Of Australia? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure as huge of a continent as it is, there must be other stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I got a package while we're waiting from Marguerite in Wisconsin. What? She's in Wisconsin. <gasps> <laughs> Maybe we should see if we could be neighbors with her. Uh, oh, Joanne asked if you used cinnamon. I did. Yes. In I the did. apple butter? Uh-huh. Yeah, I did. Yum. Yep. And if you don't want to wait too long for the apple butter, you could just eat it like applesauce. <laughs> but. So Annabelle asked if we use all wash rags and dish towels instead of paper towels. Mostly. Yes. I buy about six about six rolls of paper towels a year and we have an article on that if mike would go to living on a dime and type in paper towels we will find it um i use about six rolls a year and that's it i did use more when we had puking cats in the house goodbye have fun hashtag parkour oh. um right there how to save money on paper towels mike's got it right here if you guys would pin this on pinterest for me too if you like it um and oh it's a gnome oh there's something gnome and uh <gasps> yeah i just don't use paper towels i use rags most of the time so uh, okay. when we had puking cats i would use paper towels but Here we don't goes. have those cats anymore oh my oh she wrote a really long letter hi tara i thought you might like these things gnomes well you know why because <laughs> i'm a lover of all things <gasps> oh i get to paint it myself oh how fun Oh, thank you. How cute. And then the knife. Is there a knife? I don't know. Oh my, there's all kinds of things in here. Uh oh, oh. gave mom a knife. 
Here's a knife. Oh no, Dad, the knife not because food. you didn't like the one you had, and this is Cutco. Oh, <gasps> she sent me a Cutco knife. Thank you. Okay, should I try it on the show? <gasps> Ooh. Sure. Oh, this looks like one of those hard to cut yourself knives. That looks like that would be really good. Actually, no. Isn't serrated like easier to cut yourself? Okay, I'll with? try it in just a minute. Yeah, it is. Okay. No, it's not. Oh. Um, mustard, because I said in my videos I didn't know that there were other kinds. I did not. Ooh, so she sent me all these different flavored mustards. Whoa. Oh, man. Stone Dusseldorf Honey mustard. Bratwurst mustard. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. Bratwurst mustard. Ooh, yum. You can't Actually, say this... Dusseldorf with an Irish accent. Did I say it with an Irish accent, really? Yes. Stone ground. Oh, this looks good. Actually, there's a mustard museum here in Wisconsin. Well, we need to go there. Yep. I used to be in Montana, I think. But they moved it closer to Madison. Oh, is that weird? I don't know. Ooh. Found the soy sauce and it's gluten-free. <gasps> Thank you. I have never had gluten-free soy sauce. <gasps> Thank you. And the little pumpkin mold I thought you might be able to use for soap. Oh, yes. They, oops, so he's upside down. Aren't they cute? Uh, I volunteer at a thrift store. Yeah, kind of dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so I find good deals and get a lot of discounts. Glad you enjoyed your trip, especially here in Wisconsin. I never lived anywhere else and love my state. She's trying to get us to move there. Marguerite, Piggy's Craft Cafe. Oh, thank you so much, hey, Marguerite. That was so nice. It won't take much to get Mom to move to Wisconsin at this point. I got my purse too, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate was it. Was she the one that sent your purse? Yes. Yeah. Oh, was she? Yes, Ellie loved the purse. Thank you. Okay, so I got this cooking, and because I'm speeding it along, oh, I forgot to add this to my list too. I'm gonna use my handy dandy chopper here. Kimberly says I sound Canadian. <laughs> Do I sound Canadian? No. No. I was wondering, eh? Just <laughs> kidding. You were wondering, eh? Uh, okay, let's see. let's see. How are the pumpkin muffins doing? Uh, mm, just a bit more, yeah. Uh, Heather, I shared uh, some li a link to our website with the kids section, uh, but it's li if you missed it in the comments, it's livingonadime.com. You can just go to the search and click kids, or I think there's a drop down in the drop down menus. There's a kids section too. There are lots of kids activities and things. And wow, congratulations on getting your cousin. I, I. It, it must be rough to become a parent in less than two hours. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. But I'm sure your cousin is extra blessed to have you there. <clears throat> well, we kind of did that too in a way. Not quite two hours, but... Kimberly's asking how many dogs or cats do we have? We have one of each. Now, we used to have three cats and a dog, but two of our cats... Oh, one died and one we had to leave. Oh, this is a nice knife. Oh man, look Mom, at that. Don't cut yourself. Ooh. Wow, thank you. Your hand's getting off. Like man, awesome. thank you so much. How nice. Ooh, oh, that's some, some people are asking what's a Cutco knife? Uh, they're like really expensive knives, but they work really well. I wish they had an affiliate promo because I really love them. So I have just collected from my mom and grandma. I have this one here, <laughs> and I have this one here. She scares me sometimes. And Quite a lot. what did you guys do to my drawers? Oh, that's on. You've been here for a week. You didn't figure out the drawers. Well, I haven't been in the drawer since I've been home. And I have this one. And these are great. Ooh. Penny says if they go dull, you can return them. Lifetime warranty. Go to Amazon and type in Cutco and see if they have them on there. I don't think they do. Okay. Uh, um, this thing is the best thing ever because you can use it to cut and then serve brownies. And it's really nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, scroll down. See if you can find this special one. $1260. Yeah, not $1200. Right uh, there. This? That one. So, it's expensive. I'm not going to kid you. It's expensive. But, 
it works great. Mom used this for 40 years. I've been using it for 20 years. Um, and my grandma had it before that. My, well, my grandma used it for 20 years. Mom used it for 20 years. And I used it for 20 years. So, I think. Because I think grandma got this in the late, mid-60s maybe. Mid to late 60s. Oh, so just the other day. And then, <laughs> and then mom just gave me this one. And I think... Mom gave me this one. So I really like them. Um, and I'm liking this one too. Okay, so I tried. Let's get our muffins out and then I'm going to talk about something here. Uh -oh. We'll see. All right, I'm sharing the link for that spreader finally. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, hold on. Ooh, Just yum. a minute more. This smell delish. So we're at high altitude, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer to cook things because we're at high altitude. But everybody who's made these muffins has absolutely loved it. So I'm trying out a new food product that if it works, I might be promoting it on the show. So let's see if it tastes good. Oh! That's delicious! What is this? Our new food product we're considering selling. Which is what? I made chicken soup. Mm. Chicken and rice soup. It's good. Delish. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yep. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, we might be doing that then. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, other questions? Sorry. Uh, Kimberly said, I thought you guys were moving to Wisconsin. Well, we're thinking about it. So... Check your muffins. You got those already out. I have been looking for houses. If we just found the perfect house, we would go, but we have not found the perfect house. The problem we're having with Wisconsin is internet service. The houses that we've found so far, we can't get good enough internet service to run the live shows, and this is our entire income. So, we kind of need to do the live shows. Let's see. It would be a bit of a problem. Okay, it would be a major problem if we didn't have That's the shows. one thing we have to be really <laughs> careful about because we have some friends who moved to a remote place there and they're struggling, aren't they? They've but, been there a month. Big but, Family Homestead is who we're talking about. They've been there a month. <laughs> Are you leaving? Tracy's. No. And Tracy um, uh, they've been there a month and they still don't have internet. So, yeah. Ooh, Christine asked to spell the brand name of the new knife. C-U-T-C-O. Here all. Thank you. This is I nice. I am. Just oh, well, here's a. This is a the other item, the spreader that Tara mentioned. But this is the brand. If you want to look that up, I just shared that link in the comments. Yeah, that. The thing about this is what you can do <clears throat> is you can cut your brownies and then you can just serve them with this or your pie or whatever. So, I use this thing all the time. Heather says you look like the circus performer that throws knives. <laughs> Let's see. Does mustard grow wild in the UK? I, I have no idea. Yes, I know. You don't all say A, Shannon. Shannon. Actually, when we were in uh, the Pacific Northwest, it was very... You could tell Canadians because they would say process all the time. But we know Canadians here from... I Canada. Think, yeah, but which <laughs> province? I forgot which province they're from. Uh, mm -hmm. But they say process, and there's no process in their province, so that's kind of funny. Uh, Sandra, I bought your soap one with a lilac. Be ready. Uh, I haven't bought a lilac fragrance. So I'm probably going to do soap next week. I don't think I'll get lilac done now. I'm sorry. We just had so much going on. I am going to do apple next, and an acne, and... Little back dress, several coffee, cucumber melon. I'm going to be doing several of those. Wait, did you say you have a little black dress? <laughs> Would you like me in a little black? Oh, here I have my little black dress. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, Amy says we have more than just deserts. We have some really great beaches amongst other things. I have seen the beaches on some of the real estate shows. Have you? Yeah, they look really awesome. Yeah, I couldn't believe Amy sent me a house. That was too funny. So I did email them, Amy, but I haven't heard back to see if if they have internet that would be usable for us. Tracy said if you went to Australia, whole new market for dining on a dime. 
We do ship out of the out of the U.S. now, guys. So we do ship to Canada. Our Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. This is our only print book, but we do ship it to the U.K. Well, we ship it anywhere now, um, Australia. But the shipping is high. It's like twenty dollars to Australia and the U.K. and fifteen. $14.95 or something, $15 to Canada. But I have had a lot of people say that they were really glad they still got it. So, or we do have the ebook if you would rather. All right, here we go. Yum. This mic is frantically looking through comments. All right, there. This is it. Is that on there? Okay. Is that the way they're supposed to look done? They look good. They smell really good. Can it be sent by media mail or the book? Not outside the U.S., but I send it media mail for in, for in the United States, I send it via media mail because it saves you guys $3 on shipping. So... I do send it media mail in the U.S. Oh, uh -oh. look at that lovely lusciousness. Mm, you're oh. leaving. Goodbye. Joanne asked us a shout out to Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Hello, Nicholas. Nicholas is going to be two on Friday. Two? Happy birthday almost. So if we say Nicholas, does he turn his head and look over here and come over? Or is he too busy playing with something more exciting? Probably, yeah, he's probably <laughs> too busy playing with something. Okay. Ugh. Tanya wants to know if you think you'll be making cotton candy soap before Christmas. No, I don't have any scent. I don't have any fragrance left of that. And I'm probably not going to order fragrance unless somebody really wants something special. If you want to pre-order it, you can, and I can order fragrance, but I probably won't be before Christmas. So Allie asked if we already made the muffins and apple butter. Yes, so I'm, here's the muffins. I'm resharing the recipes in the comments right so now. So Friday, are we making whoopie pies? From there, I guess. I don't know if I'll be there. So are whoopie pies like moon pies or something? Yes. I see. Mm. Yes. Good. <laughs> are they delicious? Mm. You're welcome. Did you want to take one with you or no? no. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mike's so at parkour, do they teach you how to climb like Spider-Man? I can't. You can't? Spider-Man has spider abilities. Oh, spider abilities. Spider-Man has spider uh, abilities. You yes, know? Joanne, I do see the Facebook messages. Sometimes I'm behind or get kind of mixed up. Is this, are you having me taste it? Yes. You're having me put pumpkin in my mouth? Oh, you don't like pumpkin? Oh, well, you don't I like pumpkin. It. I forgot you don't like pumpkin. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm, actually, this is good. I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying that because she's your wife. Mm. Mm. Oh, Becky, they're pumpkin muffins. Um, actually, well, those are good. And I will share the link again to the recipe if you'd like to see it. They're really good. They're really easy. It's like two ingredient recipe. So yeah, even I could cook it when Tara's gone. Although I did an okay job, I have to say, with a little help you from Dave and You did very well. One of the days I could check in. <laughs> yeah, we made sure you couldn't get a signal on the other days. Uh, Michelle, how did I like Pennsylvania? I liked it, sort of. <laughs> I really liked it, but I didn't like... The towns that we saw, several of them were like in valleys with mountains surrounding them. And it kind of made me claustrophobic. I don't know. I guess I've just lived in Kansas and Colorado all my life and I'm just used to seeing out that it kind of disturbed me. <laughs> but I really liked it. It was super pretty and we had a great drive. If you guys are wondering, we did a video. Let's see, when did it come out? Sunday on our trip to Pennsylvania on YouTube. So if you want to go check out Living on a Dime on YouTube, I have my Pennsylvania trip on there. They kept telling me it's beautiful, it's really pretty. Yeah. Here. So Yeah. Um But then we went to Wisconsin and I liked it better. <laughs> Elizabeth said I would add chocolate chips to the muffins. Mm -hmm. She's not the first person to say that. Oh well, somebody else asked I'm sorry, somebody else asked if uh we can add berries and things and raisins and So you can add chocolate chips. You can add cranberry and nuts for a cranberry pumpkin. You could add lemon zest. You could add any type of dried fruit you want. You could even do things like coconut, which seems strange, but it's actually really good. 
Um, I've added all kinds of stuff, but since this was two ingredient, I didn't want to freak everybody out and start adding a whole bunch of stuff because then everybody's like, well, that's not two ingredients anymore. Well, it's between two and 20 ingredients, depending on what you <laughs> want to do. It's between Ooh. two and 20. So would it be good if you put coconut in it? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because for some reason I have this sense that I don't like pumpkin, but I can't remember actually eating it except in things that you made that didn't taste like pumpkin. So, well, let's see, checking for, oh, Debbie wanted to know if you showed the purse for Ellie. Um, oh, she's got she it left. downstairs. Well, wait, no, here, Dave, it's right there. Can you bring it over here? I don't think she wants me snooping in her stuff. It's, she's not using it You don't it have yet. to snoop in it. You can just bring it over here. We just got it, so. Oh, is that it? Yes. Oh, that looks a lot like the one she had. Yes, so this is the one she got. Isn't that cute? <gasps> it's even got it. the little zippy on the back here. And a little something here. Looks like another pocket. Bye. Bye. And all those nice little compartments. So now she's got two of them. We've had two viewers send her purses. So thank you guys, both of you. So that was it. And it was very pretty. Ooh, Two Family Homestead is on. And Going Patty's on. So I did an interview with Two Family Homestead. And I think that is going to come out Saturday or Sunday. K. Roma says I would be lost without hills. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the hills, actually. I came back to Colorado, and... She had a bad reaction. <laughs> actually, it really depressed me. I drove in to... This is why we should never I, have gone. We shouldn't have ever gone, so we don't know what we're missing. Um, yeah. It's just like a desert here. It really is. It's like a desert. The thing about Colorado is it's really great in the mountains. Um, and there are other places that are pretty... But for us, we're not very deserty people, and the Front Range is really deserty. When we lived here before, we lived in Estes Park, which is in the middle of the mountains, and it's really, really pretty. And the temperature is about 15 degrees colder every day uh, in the summer, and and so being down here, it's kind of desert-like, and it's pretty flat with not really very many trees, and it gets pretty hot in the summer. I mean, we have air conditioning, which we didn't have in Estes Park. So. Yeah. Debbie asks, what is an ebook? And the muffins look delish. An ebook is a book that you can download instead of, it's not like a printed book. You read it on your computer, your iPad, or your phone, or yeah. your Kindle. Yeah. Um, Sanders Homespun Life. Tara, my husband wants to know if you'll send him one of those muffins to the mail. Ha! I should out of honor. Probably should send two, just to. Give them for one of them. I was yeah. going to say, let's just keep going and let's just head to Canada. Why don't we? <laughs> Maybe I should leave next week and check out Canada. I would say yes, except, man, as much traveling as we've done this summer and we're all worn out. Yeah, we need to stop. So, Cheryl, where in Wisconsin are you looking and how far in the country do you want to be? We're looking around Wausau. So I really like that area and probably 50 miles on a big circle within Wausau. Probably, probably anywhere between there and Eau Claire, right? Probably anywhere, but like if Wausau was right here, probably the three quarters that are north, I don't know that we want to necessarily go south because we're trying to stay in the cooler part of the, of the state, or at least it seems like it. <laughs> we need chopsticks. So um, and so, that's where we're looking. Amy T, I have not heard back from them yet if the internet is good or not, so I don't know. We're, I'm waiting to see. If we just found a perfect house that had all of our qualifications, so here's the thing. Including internet. We need, the, the number one priority is four or more upload. I told you I'd bring you food, Jamie. I told you. So on the internet, what she's saying is most people, when they think of their internet speed at their house, they say, oh, we have so many megs of, of internet, but that's actually download speed. But we need that's, upload. That's taking stuff off the internet, but we need mm -hmm. upload speed to push things to the internet. Yeah. And usually upload speed is a lot slower than download speed. So like here we have a, well, I don't think we're getting what we're supposed to be getting from our provider, but we're supposed to be getting 100 down and 10 up. In most places, it's uh, like 20 down and... For like a regular house, it'd be like 20 down and two up. Uh, but because of the show, we've had to up to a higher 
thing. So what's the minimum we need? Four? We need the minimum of four up to guarantee that the show would fly well. So we're having a problem. We found places where it's like two or three max in the whole area. Yeah. And I thought, I wonder if I contact them and just say, if we were to pay you like twice as much or something, could we get run a, a line, higher speed? Or could we run a line? We, you know, it, even if it cost us ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 to run a line, I mean, this is our business. So, I mean, we a, well, it'd have to really be the be perfect house. miles at that price. Well, I know. It'd have to be the perfect house. But, so, and we're looking for something with two kitchens or where we could put in a second kitchen because we want to have a studio and not be doing this all in our kitchen because we have lights up and we got cameras and it's really ruining our dinner so Cher sure said wait you made apple butter and i missed it yes it's right here but i'm putting that in again it's going super super slow oh your mom has a birthday request um a birthday request. where are you finding out i think she already did it so anyway huh? um, no it's a different one we would really like to have a place out in the country away from people, if we could. We should sing this one, dear. But still have some neighbors, but just not have neighbors on us. So, okay, let me, I'm going to zap this just so you guys can see what it looks like, because it's not totally done, but since we're getting to the end of the show. For the 11 hours, this is what it looks like. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's what it looks like. Ooh, and it looks like you don't have to blend it. I only blended it because it didn't cook long enough for the show. But let's do a little taste test here because I bet it'll still be pretty good. What is it again? Oh, your apple butter. Oh. Oh, that is good. Oh, man, your wife is a good cook. I know. Why do you think I missed you? Oh, you did? Why do you think I lost weight while you were gone? <laughs> okay. Mm. Is that delish or is that delish? That is delish. Man. So you guys need to try the apple butter. I only made a half batch today because I'm the only one who eats it. But it is good. Ooh, we have okay. some questions too. Birthday. Birthday first. Oh, except I'm going to make sure I was. Uh, Turid says come to Norway. We have five up. Five up. Wow. Yay. Wow. Uh, okay. Yay. Okay. Looks like. Do you have the candle? Yes. Am I supposed to light it? It looks like Bailey is having a birthday today. <gasps> Bailey! She's How old is Bailey? Bailey is six. Oh. Should have Jack come in here. Okay, Jack, come here. Jack! Can you hear us? No, he can't. Oh, it's okay, Dave. It's okay. No, it's fine. Do we want to wait for Jack? Let's Michelle see. said, what about a house with in-law quarters or attached apartment? Yes, that would be perfect. We were thinking more like in-law quarters on the other part of the property. <laughs> <laughs> well, because mom might move towards us, so even if we, and I would like at least, okay, we so get along Bailey really well together, is but turning six, so Bailey's we're going to sing six. happy birthday to her, okay? <clears throat> you ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Bailey, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Happy birthday, Bailey! Happy birthday! <laughs> Yay. All right. <laughs> Yay. Actually, so you, you would think that finding a house with a second kitchen is hard, but I have found a ton of houses in Wisconsin that actually have the basement that's a separate apartment, or I found a lot. 
but it's just been one thing or another that hasn't worked. So. Oh, Sharon, whose granddaughter's with her, says they're in Florida and flooded. <gasps> oh, uh, sorry. So you're not even in your house, probably? I'm sorry, Sharon. Uh, oh, man. Sorry about that. Oh. Yeah, there's. I know there's a huge. A yeah, bunch it's of people a that are... mess. I was looking at some today. Ooh, is it dye? It says put. Oh, put. Put oh, that put the applesauce. Yeah, that would be really good. Uh, Dolores wants um, to know: Does it matter what kind of apples you use? Nope, I just use whatever I get for cheap. So yeah. Joyce, you need to start selling to you to say, "Man, your wife is a good cook." Actually, that would be Should awesome. I? You know, I think then. <laughs> Then uh, our people could wear it for their husbands <laughs> every day when the guy gets home. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Um, you can use any apples you want. Becky, yes, you're moving. Uh, Not yet. We're looking, we but we've been looking we'll be, for a year. <laughs> we'll think we'll eventually we'll move, but we're not right now. Yeah. So, but Tara was looking in a lot of different places on the internet, wistfully in the evenings and. We had other yeah. reasons to go visit people, and I said, well, why don't you just go check it out so we know we're not, where, yep. the thing is, there are a lot of places that, like, um, I forgot who it was that asked about Mesa, Arizona. It's pretty in Mesa, and I know a lot of people who live there, but yeah. Tara has a chronic illness that a lot of heat or humidity is really bad for, and I know Mesa uh, gets really, really hot yeah. sometimes, so... That's the reason. So there are a lot of places that we like, but we know she would be sick a lot of the time if we went there. Wow. Yeah, Sharon says they can't go anywhere. The bridges so, are closed. Here's the deal, guys. Sharon is a good example. It could happen to any of us. You guys need to be prepared. Don't wait for the government to take care of you guys. Get some water stocked up beforehand, before they even have the news going on. Then if... You hear a thing is coming, like we had our floods here four years, four years ago this week. Four years already? Wow. And as soon as I heard the water treatment plant might be compromised, I filled up my bathtub. I just bleached it down real quick, filled up my bathtub, all the sinks. I got my crock pot, all the containers, five gallon Any buckets. Any kind of bottles we might have. Anything that would hold water. I filled <clears> it up <throat> with water while we still had tap water. And... Um, get some food. Keep some food on hand. You guys should have at least three months worth of food so that if you were cut off from civilization today, you could still eat for three months. So get yourself going, uh, get yourself prepared so that you can do that. And we also have backpacks so that if there's a major emergency, like we have a chemical plant in our town and it's had to be, our town has had to be evacuated before. We haven't, but our town has before we moved here. And I have backpacks packed with a change of clothes for everyone, some granola bars, beef jerky, first aid kit, extra glasses for everybody because we all wear our glasses. I have an old pair of glasses. And um, I got everybody all red long sleeve shirts so that if it's in the summer we can cut off the short the sleeves and make them into short sleeves if it's the winter we won't have to have an extra layer then and then if we need to evacuate we can just grab those backpacks and leave and so Cher said if yeah. you have canning jars can water sounds silly but the way they, well, that way you have yeah. water to drink cook with that's true yeah you know i didn't hear if you said it but when i we were when i was working for pbs when we were in kansas uh the town of greensburg got destroyed by a tornado and I was doing mm -hmm. interviews with the Homeland Security Department. They were saying, you know, the things that people don't think about in a lot of catastrophes that can destroy your house is having a whistle. Yeah. I have a whistle in every backpack. I have a flashlight. I have a knife. Because they said if rescuers come looking for you mm -hmm. and you're stuck in or under debris in your house, it, they might not be able to find you, but you can blow a whistle. They could hear the whistle. And they could hear the whistle. So yeah. Yep. Uh, hi, Sarah. Sarah says, hi. Um, it's been a while. I haven't seen you on in a while. Sherry, two family. Yes, I put, oh, that's Amy T. She's talking to me. But I put cinnamon in mine, so. Uh, we had some other things. Barbara wanted to know, how was Lehman's? Did you buy anything? I did, and I did a video. It's going to come out in a, probably about a week or so, because I, I shot so much video, we just couldn't get it all up for my trip because of the live shows. But 
I did. I bought a cute little soap holder. I bought some sodas that are like, I like fancy flavored sodas. I just think those are so cool. I like, so I got a pumpkin soda, a blueberry soda, and a vanilla cream soda. Um, Hey, Joe, you keep telling people that we have a list on the website, but some people don't know what the website is. <laughs> uh, Cheryl was looking for a prep list to follow, and your mom says there's one on the website. Our website we is livingonadime.com, but what would we look under? I have, Did we have one? I think there uh, was something about emergency. Try type an emergency. I have Oops. no idea. Emergency preparedness tips, planning for weather emergencies. Try the 10 tips, maybe. I don't think we have a list of things to take. Um, I know, uh, let's see, do we? Oh yeah, I guess we have stuff. a little bit. Yeah. It's not a huge amount of stuff. It's not a huge comprehensive list, but it's, uh, and we should go ahead and get a list and you know, and I even have some cash in there so that if we just have to run really quick, I have cash and I don't have this, but I want to order it is a uh, solar powered cell phone charger. BJ had one for his car and I wanted to get that. And I'm also gonna get a little, I found a little tiny cook stove that uses just twigs and leaves to cook. And I found that the other day and I'm gonna get that too I'm to put in there. sharing that link right now to emergency preparedness tips. It's a short article, yeah. so it's not an exhaustive list. Yeah. But. But guys, you can't count on the government to take care of you. You're gonna have to take care of yourself and you need to be prepared ahead of time and but i know that homeland security department had a big list when i was doing uh, producing mm -hmm. a show for them and they had um it was also connected to the kansas national guard so i think if you type in like emergency preparedness list or something like that or uh there were they have some really good lists on there that mm -hmm. talk about all the things and like yeah. one of the things they were saying is that People store up a lot of canned food and then they get stuck and they need the canned food and they don't have a can opener. Yep. So, yeah. just things like that. Um, yeah, and like, if you don't have a can opener or if you have an electric one, get a can opener. Use pop, buy only foods that have the pop tops on them. Um, Preparatara. Oh, that's a good name for me. I like that. Yes. Um, Sherry, the, it was a citrus honey soda of some sort it was really good oh man that was delicious hey yeah uh, going baddies on over here and they're gonna be having they're gonna go live here sh shortly right after us and so i just shared a link to how to find their channel um yeah let's see i'm waiting to get a proper attic so i have room to store things in the attic yeah but don't wait to do don't wait get store it under your couch store it under your bed store it under your clothes in your closet find places to at least get some things stored up so you can like for me um i used to store bottles of water but now i have a water filter that a homemade water filter so yeah so we had a couple of other questions oh uh, louise and some other people were asking about the soup oh it's just no uh, well not yet so i'm doing a test i got a new food product that they've been trying to convince me for like six months to try this food product and it's actually mm. pretty good, but I it's told really her I good. didn't want to promote something unless we tried it. And we so, really thought it was awesome. So, so far, so we've, good. we've tried about six or eight of these products, and maybe Friday I'll cook with it um, and see. Because I've been kind of hesitant, which I'll explain when I cook Friday. Because there's some things about it that people are promoting that I don't agree with. But I agree, this is really tasty and it's really convenient. So I'm going to possibly be doing that on Friday. Oh, if we sorry. don't make whoopie pies with Ellie. A couple follow-up comments and questions. Ramona said most places in Florida are only taking cash. That's yeah. the reason why you want to keep some on hand. Mm -hmm. but, and uh, we, we keep some on hand. And occasionally we have a need for cash and it's like a holiday weekend. And we'll yeah. take some out of there and then replenish it as yeah. soon as we get to the bank. Barb uh, was asking, where do you store a backpack if well, you need to grab it Well, here's quickly? the thing. Somebody said in their car. Yeah, I do keep it in the basement. So that doesn't seem like it's real quick, but I know right where it's at, it's right at the door, so I can run down, grab them, come out. We have a backpack for everyone. Um, so we could do that. Um, Joanne says, yes, yes, whoopie pies. Yeah, well, we might do pumpkin whoopie pies on Friday, we'll see. Um, Marianne was asking what we cooked, she just joined us. We cooked um, two ingredient pumpkin muffins right here with, although mine had little spark or not um, sprinkles in it 
And then we made homemade apple butter. Yummy. Yay. So I'm sharing those recipes again. And then uh, I think that's there. Are, I mean, we could answer other stuff, but do we want to go and let? Oh, and one other thing is, I do have a big water filter for the mm. for us that does five gallons at a time. But I have a little. I bought three mini water filters to carry in our backpacks, so we can just fill up the bag and it filters through, and we can do that too. So yeah. So actually, I know we're trying to go, but Nancy asked if you went to Aldi when you're in Bloomfield, New Jersey. No, I did not. Oh, did you know it? No, there was there. Probably. I guess I didn't know it. Don uh, said your two ingredient fudge was practically my diet last winter. It was so good. Wasn't it good? Yeah. And Becky said I know a Mennonite lady that had a summer kitchen and one for the rest mm -hmm. of the year. Summer one is bigger, all white, and lots of room for canning. Yeah. It's a good idea. I'm telling you, that Amish, we saw an Amish house out there, and I was like, I should have gone and looked at it. The only thing was it said, can add plumbing and electric if needed. <laughs> But it was a cool house. It was huge. I was really surprised how big the Amish are. They're big? The, the houses <laughs> are big. The houses are huge. Yes. Bandana Grandma. Tara, did you tell Mike I was normal? Seems to be the prevailing, prevailing Christian. Christian since we met. Yes. I told him. I said I was so happy Bandana Grandma was normal and Big Family was normal. Yeah. I was happy. Yeah. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Regina says fibers download... 100 upload 100 around 30 euro in Portugal. Well, maybe that we need to move to Portugal. Cheap. That is super, super cheap. Good grief. Wow. Well, mm. cool. Well, do we want to, I know going baddies about to get started. Do we want to okay. wrap it up? We started, it should be started. Um, right now. Toby, I saw something recently that is a giant bag designed to fill, fit in the bathtub to fill with water and close it with a pump to separate the water when you need it. So no contaminants get in. So here's the thing that I think of contaminants. That's a good idea. But guys, just keep a thing of bleach on hand and throw a couple of drops of bleach in there. Like two drops does a gallon or something. Yeah, two drops of bleach kills all the bacteria in um, a gallon of water. Well, and, and so, also if you just, if you put it in there and mix it up and you leave the cap off for a second, it evaporates right off. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean... I don't know. Yeah, your mom says ATMs don't work, so so you definitely need to keep yeah. some cash. All right, guys. We will see you on Friday. I don't know if we're making whoopie pies or something else, but we will see. It'll be a surprise. I just like surprising everyone. Mom asked me at 8.30 this morning what's on the show. I'm like, it is 8.30 in the morning. I haven't had my tea yet. <laughs> yes. I can't plan that far ahead. Yeah. Well, I waited today. I waited till at least noon. Yeah, it was like 12.15 or something, so. And he was very polite. He said, you know, it would really help me if I could get it done earlier. So I'm not fr freaking out right at the end, which I know she hates, so that's kind of a nice little way to... <laughs> All right, well. Visit us at Living on a Dime, guys. We will see you on Friday. Bye. And if you're on the YouTube side, go and Betty's on. I just shared a link for them. Yes, Lori, you can make apple butter with less sugar. Bye, guys. All right, bye. Andy broadcast. Bye. <laughs> Tan -tan